All right, welcome back. So we just got our textures brought in from Substance Painter and applied to the chair. You can see it looks pretty pretty good. But there's something about it that um, I'm not totally thrilled with. And that is the shininess that the spec produces, the specular map produces. I, I don't like. So uh, we don't have a light source here shining on it, so I'm going to create one. So let's go to build. And we're going to do, I'm going to do a little ball here. Go to the feature tab and turn on the light. So now this little ball is a light. So I'm going to move it. And you can see what it looks like. As I move the ball around, you can see the light affecting the chair. Right? But it doesn't affect it enough on the on the wood part. I like it to be shinier. And then the cloth is almost too shiny. So I'm not thrilled with those, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it. I have found that for wood surfaces like this, instead of using a specular map, and I'll show you what the specular map looks like, so for like if we go up here to uh, slat, this is this part right here, the specular, it's just gray. And what that means is uh, black means no shininess at all, white means maximum shininess and so gray is kind of in the middle it's 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 neither dark nor shiny and so the slat parts which is this part that you can see right here is fairly uniform and it's just a little bit shinier than the neutral which is why it's not really shining much i don't like that what i found is if i take the ao file that i created in the first place and actually apply it as the specular map on the wood parts, it turns out being really, really nice. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to redo all of these. I'm going to set this to, to, to uh, specular. Then I'm just going to go in and drag my AOs, which should be right down here somewhere. There they are. So I'm going to take these and apply them as the shininess maps. specular maps. So that's the chair side right is going to be there. Uh, side left. So I'm going to keep doing this and I'll come back when I have it done. Well, I should have kept a copy of this so you can see it and compare it. But uh, you'll see it. Okay, I finished doing that. And now, if you look around, you can see it's much shinier. And it looks much more like polished wood would look on real furniture. You still get the normal. You can still see the normal is causing the 3D effect of uh, like uh, bumpiness on the surface, but it's much more reflective, and much shinier, which is the way I like my wood furniture to look. I'm still not thrilled with the cloth, though. And again, let's look at what the let's look at what the uh, specular maps for the cloth looks like. So there's a seat cushion specular. Again. This is your neutral, it's neither shiny nor dark, and it's slightly less shiny. This is the this is the area of the, the, the actual AO. Oh, no, no, I'm wrong. This is the blank part. This is the AO. So it's got a little bit of a shine to it. This is neutral. So it's got a little bit of a shine to it, which I don't want any shine because it's supposed to be a microfiber. So um, black means no shine. So what I actually do, and I used to put a white specular on wood, but I found I like the AO better. But for cloth like this, I want my um, spec to just be black. So I created a black that's 24 V8 by 24 V8, and I use that. And I just pick that and use it for all of the cloth parts. There's only three. And so now they don't reflect any shininess, they don't reflect light at all. And now when I look at it, it, it just looks better to me. And see how it reacts to the light? It, it doesn't shine at all. It gets dark in the absence of light, but it doesn't really reflect shininess, but the wood does. So that's kind of the nutshell for for that part. Um, and, <clears throat> and so what we have now is we have our furniture 
in pretty much the final state of what I would uh, what I would say it's done now but that's only one texture so for me what I do is I load a texture changer software into the furniture so that you can click on it and change the textures but in order to do that I have to produce all of the different textures so how do I do that well I just go back uh, assuming I have the texture changer I would just go back to substance painter and start applying different textures so uh, microfiber let's say I want a different color microfiber how could I get a different color microfiber this microfiber looks like it only comes in blue right it's blue but I want it to be pink or I want it to be green or I want it to be red well go up here and I pick my seat cushion which is this one go to the layer there is the microfiber and go to my properties panel if I scroll down you can see there's the color so instead of being using the blue color oops it's auto save I can open up the color picker and I could say let's try a pink And then I want to apply the same color to the other ones. So what I do is I just copy. This is the like uh, hex code for the color. Just copy that. Then we're going to go to the back cushion. We're going to click on the color, and we're going to paste that in. And the other one's called back, so that's right there. And I'm going to pick that and paste that in. And now I have the exact same three colors on all three parts and then I can just go to file export textures and now I only want to export because I'm using the same wood right I only want to export the cloth parts so I can uncheck all the ones I don't want back back cushion are on and seat cushion is on everything else turn off and then hit export now it only exported those then I go back to Second Life and now I and now I just import those that I want um, and it's it's uh, only the diffuse map I because it's the same texture it's just a different color so the normal map and the spec map are going to be the same I don't need to change them all I really need is the diffuse so I can go and just upload those three files so upload bulk and I want this one this one Oops. oh I just I just accidentally dragged and copied it so what happened so I want that one that one and that one upload it and it takes a few seconds cause charges me 10 lindens for each one of those uploads then I just sure this is set to texture which it is and then I just drag them on see cushion goes here back cushion goes here back goes there now I have pink and then I would save that using my texture change software and I would create the, the file for that texture and save it off then I want to go back to change it to maybe a green color that's very lime green, but let's do it dark green like that. So let's just copy that code. Go to the back cushion. Paste it in. Go to the C cushion. Go here. Do it again. And then just go up here and export. And again, I don't need to export um, all the the uh, maps I just need the diffuse so I can actually turn those off so it generates less files for me hit export then go back to second life build upload bulk pick the green ones upload them Uploading, I can apply them, and you're done. And that's basically it. So, thank you for watching this series. I think that's it.